Starting over. So we have our human circle, mm -hmm. um, which you might disagree with it being a human circle. But um, you could say these are 10 millimeters and that the unit is one centimeter okay. in radius. Um, so the question was find cosine inverse of negative one half. Okay, and if you want to do this, you can touch the little red dot, uh -huh. and then you can do whatever you want. Okay, okay. cosine inverse of negative one half. Mm -hmm. What happens? Um. I'm. So cosine is what? On the unit circle. It's the x value. Okay. So if I'm doing the inverse cosine of negative one half, mm -hmm. I need to find places that have x coordinate negative one half. Okay. Where does that happen? Um, it would be at. Um, well, even just even on you know on the picture, x is negative one half happens mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So. We care about these angles. All right. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so now we've got to figure out what these angles are. Um. So we care about this angle, mm -hmm. and we care about, it's a different color, that angle. Okay. It would they would be um So the purple angle, how do we figure out what the purple angle is? Well, we know that the purple angle, whatever it is, is uh pi over two mm -hmm. plus something. Yes. Right, because the pi over two goes like that. Right. Okay. Uh what's this something? Well, let's draw ourselves this this triangle. Right? Mm -hmm. What what species of triangle is this? Um, it would be a 30, 60, 90. Right, okay. And the 30 part of it is right there. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so pi over 2 plus what's 30 degrees in radians? Um, would be um, 2 thirds. Oh, you're adding the whole thing? Oh, uh, oh, uh, one third. Or one sixth. Pi, pi over, over six. six, good, okay. And then all together that adds up to two thirds pi. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. Or you could say that's 120 degrees. Mm -hmm. Right? 120 degrees. Uh, that's like 2 times pi over 3, because pi over 3 is like 60 degrees. Right. Okay. Um, what is the orange flavored angle? Um, negative 120 degrees. Okay, perfect. Right. There's no, no need to rack our brain. Right. Right. But what if that was no good. What if we were insisting on angles that were between, uh, what if I had to give my answers between um, 0 and 2 pi? Um, then you couldn't have negative 2 pi over 3? Right. Um, so we certainly like 2 pi over 3. Mm -hmm. And also, in terms of inverse cosine overall, inverse cosine right. cares about the top half of the circle. Mm -hmm. So in some sense, mm -hmm. this, this is the answer. Yes. Right? Uh, that's different from, let's say we're trying to solve the equation. Uh, cos, whoops. Cosine theta equals negative one-half. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there are lots of answers. Yeah. Right? Um, one of the answers we agree is 2 pi over 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, to that answer, I can add any multiple of 2 pi. Right. Okay, 
And the other answer we figured out was minus 2 pi over 3. Mm -hmm. And to that, I can add any multiple of 2 pi. Mm -hmm. Okay? So these are all of the solutions to this equation. Mm -hmm. That's different from doing uh, specifically the function cosine inverse right. of negative 1 half. The difference is also illustrated when I have... Um, you know, if I say what the square root of 4 is, mm -hmm. then that's 2. I like that. Is right. that new? The iPad? Yeah. No, but the video recording is... Oh, the, the writing thing? Well, yeah. I've never seen you. I've always seen you just use paper. Oh. Well, we did it one time, but it was like... The iPad was getting in the way. But I don't think it's getting in the way now. Um, um, anyway, I'm making some tea. Forever. <laughs> on our <laughs> tutoring recording. Okay. The square root of 4 is 2. Mm -hmm. But um, the solutions to x squared equals 4 plus are and plus two. and minus 2. Uh huh. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's the difference. Okay. Right? Square root of x is like um, f inverse of x, where f of x equals x squared. Hmm. We have to pick a value mm -hmm. that we like. Okay. And we pick the positive one. Right. Right. With uh, inverse cosine and inverse sine, there's a little bit more to it, mm -hmm. right? Okay.